Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the side quest, When Night Falls. As a favor to Nefertari, Bayek agrees to escort one of her healers to a hideout where several wounded rebels are in dire need of treatment. With Nefertari's hands full as she tends to the Natron mine, Bayek ensures that rebels who have sought refuge nearby receive proper treatment. Sufia offers to assume Nefertari's role so long as Bayek will protect her from the ever-present dangers when traversing the desert at night. The reward is 3,000 experience and a new mount. Speak to Sufia at night about the rebel's needs. Alright, so it's not night yet. But the marker is there. I'll probably have to fast forward. But let's get there first and we'll find out. See if my horse can get here. All right. Heads up, people. Oh, don't back up into it. I'm just giving them every reason to hate me. Have you come to see me about the rebels? We don't make the trips until sundown. Come see me then by the northern entrance. Alrighty. Uh, it's not working. There we go. Oh, look how far she moved. To see you, Namrut. Nefertari sent reinforcements, I see. His name is Bayek, a dear friend of Nefertari's. I've asked him to come along and he graciously accepted. I suppose we all do. I hear you are in some trouble. I owe a favor to Nefertari. If it's as you say, follow me and stay close. We've got quite a journey ahead. The path to the mine was clear, but that doesn't mean it will be on the way back. Be ready for anything. Well, wait up for me. My horse is slow. They're not waiting for me. There we go. You seem uneasy, Namrut. Why the hesitance? I don't like straying from the plan. These lands are teeming with dangers. Bandits, soldiers, the wild. It's why we make the trips at night. Helps avoid trouble. Where are you camped? In an abandoned fort to the west. Our point of retreat. Retreat from what? An attack on a nearby encampment. There were more soldiers than we thought. We lost a lot of good men. How many wounded? Enough. That's why being close to their mine is so important. The healers work wonders. We are lucky Nefertari allows these deals. She has a pure heart, risks her neck. The mine belongs to the regime after all. We should be out of harm's way once we cross that bridge. Well, we didn't encounter any bandits. This is it. When we get inside, I will need your help to tend to the wounded while Sufia prepares the Natron. I pray we have not lost more men. I will set up. Bayek, follow Namrut. He will show you what to do. These men, move them to the rear, by the kilns. This way, we will line them up. It will be easier for Sufia. Okay. Come on, buddy. Smaller than I imagined. Small, but united. 
We fight for one another. I am merely one of them, spared by the gods this time. I see that he's not helping. You know, you could have taken one of them. Alright, well, I'm gonna be doing the heavy lifting. Cold. I am so cold. Their wounds are severe, but they'll live if Sufia is anything like Nefertari. You and Nefertari are old friends. Something like that. She saved my life after I killed Rujek. You are the one that killed Rujek, huh? I cannot believe it. By the gods, the brazier, the fire will alert the regime. No! Ah! Ah! Spread out. They have found us. All right, let's see. This guy with the big shield, we want to hit him with the overpower. You can see that didn't even get through half his health. Let's hit his archers. I would rather stick my sword. Shield guy will get last. I want to take out these easier enemies first. Maybe if I get enough adrenaline, I can just hit him with another overpower. Nope, stay. Oh, why did I dodge that? Let's hit this guy with an arrow. This one fights alongside these levels. A fool's choice. Stop moving. There we go. Yeah, he's got some serious health. I've got my overpower back. Let's take that. Double team. <laughs> Stab the air, yes. It's Sufia. She lit the brazier. Why would she draw the soldiers to us? I will go check on the others. Go do something about Sufia. Oh, we'll go do something about her. Back off! You are a murderer! Talk! Normans! It was you! Why? You check? I loved him! He promised me a better life! You took him from me! Now I see. You're Rujek's mistress. Well, your fucking lover killed my son! I feel nothing for you! You are meant to die! Ah! <laughs> what a shame. Such a pretty girl. There's no room for pretty in our war. Death drives us to do things we regret. She tricked us both. Your men? The pile of dead gets bigger. We will treat the survivors. No time to fetch another healer. Alright, quest completed. And I feel like Bayek was pretty stupid there because I found that note at that location on the last video that said that Sufio loved uh, Rudjek, so... I came in here knowing what was going to happen and you just kind of willfully went into it. Kind of strange. But she's taken care of now. We don't have to worry about her anymore. So let's get all the goodies here. We'll complete the location. And then we'll go do some more locations. So this one's done. 300 experience. What's that over there? Some drachmas. Okay, that appears to be everything here. So, 
I'm thinking we'll fast travel back to Nitria, and then we'll go do that location and that one. Oh, and I forgot that I got a new mount, so let's check out that new mount once they get to the road. All right, gear, mount, the new mount is Inspiration. A certain artist in Memphis considers this camel as his muse. We're back to a camel. Oh. Hello, Inspiration. Uh, let's see, I think I should go this way. Memphis looks awesome from up here. Whoa. Okay, this is an easy one. Just pick up the treasure. Done. 300 experience. Killed and hung as bait. Do all bandits lack such respect for the dead? Okay, next location, not that far from here. It's right over here. Whoa. Vulture lair. So I want to target the boss, the big vulture. Take him down. Easy. Completed another 300 experience. And there's some goodies around here. All right, we're gonna fast travel again. We're gonna go to the top of this pyramid, hit that location, and then that one. Okay, we gotta jump down. Every time he jumps right to the edge of the next one, it's kind of interesting. His momentum should take him forward over the edge, but it never does. We've discovered the Cobra Lair, and it's right in here. Now, you actually need to be careful in here. There's a lot of Cobras. Ow. You can see they hit hard. I wonder if I can shoot them. I've never tried before. Let's see. No reason I can't. They're not smart enough to come for me. Whoops, what a terrible shot. There we go. Must have got hit by the boss, cause something just slammed me. I think there might be another one in here too. Yeah, maybe not. Nope, that's it. Welcome, pillagers. Thought yourselves clever breaking into this place? May you find nothing but pain and death. No one steals from the folk, greatest of all bandit leaders. Well, it didn't work out for him. Alright, I believe that's everything here. It is. Okay, next up, this spot. And we'll just run there. Toss my torch. So this is a tomb, and I believe this is the entrance? Yes, right here. <laughs> I 
the tomb of Joser. So that we may never again suffer the floods that brought the famine, the merchant Hanu has placed his grain sacks here. It is enough to make a hundred loaves of twenty pefsu bread and ten jugs of four pefsu malt date beer. Alright, right here we can slide under. That'll get some silica. I don't think there was anything else in there. Nope. Okay, let's see. There's more secrets in this place, but none right here. Ah, right here. Can go through here. And then you come back here, break this pot. And slide under. A sickle sword. Another silica. Carbon crystal, and we can read this. O oh, great and glorious Num, I, your humble servant, Joser, offer this votive to you, that you may smile upon us and end the seven years of famine afflicting our lands. Okay, now we're gonna move this. Oops, dropped my torch. And we got, uh, I think that's an Ua block. Big old nasty weapon. Okay, we're done over here. Another silica. Imhotep, the one who comes in peace. Chancellor of the King of Egypt. Doctor. First in line after the King of Upper Egypt. Administer, or administrator, of the Great Palace. Hereditary nobleman. High priest of Heliopolis. Builder. Chief carpenter. Chief sculptor. And maker of vases and chief. Honored in death as in life. Watch out, I think there's a cobra in here. There was indeed. Okay, predator bow. Uh, this one you can move, but first, you have to shoot the jar back there. Hmm, still stuck. Maybe there's another one? Oh, <laughs> look at that, the top one's just floating. Legendary trinket and an epic shield. Should be some more cobras. There they are. No, just one. Huh. I thought there was something back there. Guess not. Nothing there. That's the tablet. We'll be back for that in a second. And his radiance tasked Imhotep to build him a home for the afterlife, 
And Imhotep said, It shall represent your splendor and endure the ages as reminder of your greatness. He took 20,000 men to this place and said, Toth, send me a vision, and here we shall build a mastaba greater than all the other mastabas. And the people said, We offer everything you need to honor our great father. Silica there, and then in here, another thing. Son of Horus, ruler of all, representative of the gods, builder of temples and culture, beloved father of our people, Joser, Nedjerike, something like that. They seem to just love to add letters that don't belong. Let's just give it some more consonants. Why not? Then His Majesty, the King of Upper and Lower Egypt, Khufu, said, Let an offering be made of a thousand loaves of bread, a hundred jars of beer, one ox and two balls of incense to the King of Upper and Lower Egypt, Djoser, justified, and let there be given one cake, one jug of beer, a large portion of meat, and one ball of incense to the chief lector priest, as I have seen an example of his learning. Ancient writing in the Old Kingdom. All right, the Tomb of Joser completed. One ability point. All right, and this is the entrance. We're back. Don't need you anymore. All right, and we made it back outside. So, we're all done here. Let me just check out the new stuff. We got two new bows. A gazelle bow, I think that's new. Carefully constructed from gazelle horned and acacia wood, this bow has a strong draw and true aim. And then we got Victoria. Five new melee weapons. Battle of Gibeon Blade. A bronze kopesh. The spade of all trades. Bronze axe, a battle axe. What it lacks in elegance, it makes up in destructive force and intimidation. We have a shield, the failing shield. Okay, nothing new to craft. We have one ability point, we need three. Okay. We're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.